Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Park Attack Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. So, in our last episode we uh, did our 4x4 uh, utility infielder block, but let's expand on this a little bit. Um, just to, to help uh, show you another sort of a build uh, state of mind that I that I uh, have been using for some of my parks to great effect, and I'll I'll show you this in action with an actual proper park uh, uh, in the latter half of this video. But let's get started here. So we've got our four x four utility block, but obviously a, a great theme park does not utilities make. Uh, we we need some rides, but there's some specific layouts with our rides um, as well as plugging our block into the rest of our park um, that can help make this work in our favor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our path here. I'm going to stretch it out, eh, say out to here. Stretch it up to here and hook it up to our block in that corner. And yeah, I know it would be a lot simpler. We just draw a straight line right to there, but I'm not doing it that way. There's a specific reason for that. The other thing that I'm going to be doing here is back here, I'm going to just doop, nip one of these. Just, just blank it out. Actually, we can blank out that one. That's, that's fine, too. Um, again, there's a reason for it, um, I, which I will demonstrate shortly. Now, the reason for this is um, we we kind of want our we want our guests to be riding the rides. We want them to be riding them frequently, often, and over and over again until they run out of money, and then they can just get the heck out of our park. But that's the whole point: is having them constantly riding our rides with as little downtime as possible. Of course, downtime's unavoidable. Um, they will get hungry, they will get thirsty, they will need to use the bathroom, and they will need to rest. Um, but that's that's kind of what this block is here for. So there's a way to sort of enforce that. You know, take care of all their needs real quick and then um, and then get right back uh, uh, right back into the action here so first things first when when you have a block like this I usually like the reason I have the top nice and flat is I like to have a uh, um, a uh, um, just a, a flat ride on top of it uh, let's say oh I don't know a gravitron um, we hold the shift key and boom now we have a gravitron right up here at the top now for our um, uh, for our pathways, we're going to actually want those closer to the um, this side of the uh, of this side, the right hand side of this. So we're going to put that over there. We're at, we're in our um, um, exit ramp will be over here. Now we'll grab our little tool here. We want to just plug this in, and we can just have it head down there. Gravitron's a decently high capacity thing and no we don't want to plug it into that area over there we actually want to loop it back around something like that perfect uh, and then over here we will just want to plug this we can have you go down as quickly as possible loop you around beautiful okay there's our gravitron so here's the here's the sort of the formula. Here's the here's the 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 way to th go about thinking of it. Um, so people come into this little block here. They see a ride. They'll probably go on that ride. Um, they um, uh, they go on their ride. They exit out of here. Now there's no there, there's going to be no ride lines over here. So they're going to go exit out of here. We get ourselves say a bunch of bins, a bunch of um, benches, and what have you. Um, and now all of a sudden they are sort of enticed to rest. Um, you know, if they're, if they are tired, they will come down here and they're like, oh, we should take a rest. Or if they're carrying any trash, um, we have some trash bins in the area. Um, but after they've wa after, in order to go anywhere in the park, not, not only just back on the ride again, but just anywhere else in the park, they have to walk past all of the shops. Uh, and so if they are hungry or thirsty, that will usually induce them to buy something uh, or buy a souvenir if they're happy enough. Um, the, um, and, then, and then carry on their way. And then, oh, look at this. We have a ride here. Do we want to go on that again? Sure. And then over and over again. Minimal amount of farting about in the park. Uh, but this, this, can go, this can get even better. Um, 
because this is this you know this fight you wouldn't you don't need a whole line of shops just to support one ride um so maybe have something like a coaster in the back um where you have uh, oh, let's say a uh let's say a mine train coaster and what you would do is you'd want to have it say over here actually let me scooch you back a little bit And what you can do is have your, um, you know, have have a um, have your line up here towards the front. Have your exit be towards the back, um, and then just draw your just draw your queue um, over and around something like that. So now, now as your people go through here, they will have their choice. And it's usually good to have different um, uh, intensities of rides, you know. So here with the Gravitron, the Gravitron's not that intense. It's only a 34. Um, so maybe make maybe go a little at hog wild with this coaster and put it up in the 60s or 70s for intensity. Um, and that way, all of your, the widest range of people coming into this block will always have something to ride. And of course, this is it's not even limited to two. There's there's no real limit to the amount of uh, things you can plug into this particular zone. But enough jibba jabba. Let's flip over to a park so I can show it to you in action. Okay, so here is a uh, park. This is the uh, archipel Ar archipelago uh, scenario. Um, so can you spot the block? It's not immediate apparent, uh, immediately apparent. But if we zoom in here, here's our block. Here's our shops. Here's the ride on top. Um, here we uh, we took a slightly different uh, thing where we put the ride entrances on this side and the exits on that side. Uh, this being the higher intensity uh, uh, coaster here, and uh, then we got twist up here at the top. Um, so, and as you can see, this block uh, keeps up. You can see this massive crowd of people just constantly buying stuff, uh, hitting up our shops, and because our our shops are so close to um, uh, so close to the depot. The, um, whenever these shops need a refill, our hauler can get them refilled and back up and running really, really quickly. Uh, so this, this is basic, these shops are basically going 24-7 non-stop. Um, so yeah, this, this thing can handle quite a few rides. As you can see, the park is much bigger than just these two. Um, and we got two of these blocks servicing these two. And actually, for the longest time, just this one block was servicing the whole park. I only built this one later on um, just because there was a greater demand and I'd run an adver advertisement campaign. Um, but yeah, that's, that, is, uh, that is the power of the block. So these utility blocks, you can build whatever kind of park you want around them, but they can help keep your people happy uh, in the long run as, uh, as you know, your numbers grow and as their thirst and hunger grows. And you can still make a pretty penny from souvenirs if you should happen to have one of those stalls in the... Um, in, in your area, in your scenario, that is. So I hope you guys found this uh, useful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!